Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 18th of 2022. Well, it is titled Full Moon Perseids. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken during the Perseid meteor shower from a few days ago, and it actually peaked on August the 13th. And that was when you would have seen most of the meteors. And that was when the Earth passes through the debris left behind by Comet Swift Tuttle. The little bits of material that the comet leaves in its orbit continue to orbit the sun just as the comet did. So they will follow along that orbit and when Earth passes through that stream, which can which happens in this case around uh, middle of August, then we will see an excess of meteors when those small pieces of material strike Earth's atmosphere and vaporize within the in the atmosphere of Earth. So they strike Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds. And the friction as they strike the atmosphere causes them to heat to very high temperatures and vaporize. And we see those trails here left in the sky from those small bits of a comet that may have been released hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Now, if we notice, they all seem to be pointing towards the object here on Earth, and they all seem to converge off into the distance. They are merging towards what we call the radiant point, and the radiant point is the point from which the meteors appear to radiate. And what that means is that they're really all traveling together parallel through space. They're following the same orbit, and as they do that, then they uh, will appear to come from one point. And this is how distant objects will appear to converge off in the distance. Things like railroad tracks or telephone poles off in the distance will appear to converge to a point well off in the distance. But we know they're really not. They're really just parallel. And it is an optical effect that we see these appearing to converge as we see with the meteors. So the meteors are doing the same kind of thing here. Now the meteors were not the best sight this year and primarily because of the very bright object we see at the top of this image and that is our own moon. The moon happened to be at full phase and that coincided with the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. A full moon rises at sunset and sets at sunrise meaning that it's up all night and that brightens the sky making fainter meteors hard to see. So while the meteor shower still occurred with the sky being a bit brighter than normal makes it a lot harder to see all but the brightest meteors. So here we get to see a number of those Perseid meteors meteors from just a few days ago. So that was our picture of the day for August 18th of 2022. It was titled Full Moon Perseids. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be one Saturn year. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.